Hello everyone, welcome to this video podcast. Uh, in this podcast, we'll be talking about an important structure which is called the lateral sulcus. Uh, but uh, uh, so so like I mean if you look at the lateral sulcus it's basically a deep cleft which uh, is found mainly on the inferior and the lateral surfaces of the cerebral hemisphere uh, it consists of a short stem that then divides into three different rami so starting with the stem over here uh, let's let's actually begin with this uh, picture this prosection over here where you're actually looking at the base of the brain uh, and you can see that uh, the frontal lobe of the brain is uh, the, is at the front over here this is the frontal aspect of the brain this is the posterior side of the brain which is characterized by the cerebellum and the brain stem hanging down continuing down as the spinal cord uh, the stem basically arises on the inferior surface, more or less close to the center, and then you can see it extending laterally over here, reaching almost uh, to the supralateral surface of the cerebral cortex. It's then going to go on to the supralateral surface, which we can't see over here, but the stem is pretty prominent, which is separating the temporal lobe at the back from the frontal lobe in the front. This stem of lateral sulcus, so this groove, is the is uh, is the one which is gonna uh, fit, uh, which is gonna have the lesser ring of sphenoid uh, fitting into it, so kind of provide, providing, in a way, a support to the brain. Now, if we follow this uh, lateral sulcus, the stem of the lateral sulcus, and reach onto the supralateral surface, which we can see over here, see that's the supralateral view of the cerebrum with the frontal lobe in the front here, occipital lobe at the back, and you can see. Here, the stem is then coming out, and uh, on the supralateral surface, it is splitting into three different rami. We can see the posterior ramus, which is actually the continuation of the stem of lateral sulcus. That is the most prominent of the ramus. It goes all the way back over here and kind of ends at this level, somewhere in the parietal lobe. Uh, then it has uh, an anterior horizontal ramus, which is visible over here, and it also has an anterior ascending ramus. Uh, consequently, because of these rami, the cerebral cortex gets split up into different uh, gyri or different regions, and they've got on their own specific names. For instance, this part of the cerebral cortex, the frontal lobe, which is underneath the anterior horizontal ramus, this is known as uh, pars orbitalis. Then in between the anterior horizontal ramus and the anterior ascending ramus, this triangular region is the pars triangularis. And behind the anterior ascending ramus and above the posterior ramus, this region is known as the pars, uh, pars opercularis. Now, one more thing which we can identify and talk about a little bit over here is a region which is known as the insula or the insular cortex. Uh, the insular cortex is basically a, 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 an area uh, comprising of gray matter, uh, comprising of different gyri, which are which is the gray matter, and that is hiding in between the lips of the lateral sulcus. So, if this this if this is the lateral sulcus, then you can see that this is the superior lip of lateral sulcus, which is uh, formed by the parietal lobe. And this would be the inferior lip of lateral sulcus formed by the by the temporal lobes. Uh, if we remove these two lips or parts of the lateral of of of, of the uh, 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 the lips of the lateral sulcus or the parietal and the temporal lobe, if we dissect them out or separate them out a little bit, then we can see this deeper region here, uh, which is known as the insula. And here you can see that part of the gray matter here from the parietal lobe and maybe a bit from the frontal lobe has been removed and the temporal lobe which is the inferior lobe lip of lateral sulcus that has been removed as well to uh, uh, to help you see the insular cortex so just to summarize what we have talked about over here in this video podcast is uh, uh, the lateral sulcus and the insular cortex lateral sulcus has a main stem to it and it said it's on the inferior surface of the brain splits up into three different rami on the supralateral surface of the brain uh, and then if you remove the upper and lower lips of the lateral sulcus if you stretch them out move them apart then deeper to that sulcus we can see the insular cortex lying over here